Ever wondered how BYD manages to sell electric cars for half the price of a Tesla? It's not just about cutting corners. There's actually a fascinating story behind their strategy that's shaking up the entire EV industry. Let's break down BYD's secret sauce. First up, they're absolute masters of scale. While Tesla is pumping out hundreds of thousands of cars, BYD is cranking out millions. It's like buying in bulk at Costco. The more you make, the cheaper each unit becomes. And BYD's got this down to a science. But here's where it gets really interesting, their battery tech. You know how most companies have to buy batteries from suppliers? Not BYD, they've developed something called the Blade Battery. It uses this LFP chemistry that's not only cheaper but actually safer and lasts longer than conventional batteries. Pretty smart, right? And that's just the beginning. Picture this. Most car companies are like restaurants buying ingredients from different suppliers. BYD? They're like a restaurant that owns the farm, the delivery trucks, and even the salt mine. From digging up lithium to building electric motors, they control everything. No middlemen taking a cut, no supply chain headaches. Now, while Tesla's busy making cars that cost as much as a small house, BYD's taking a different approach. They're looking at the bigger picture, the everyday buyer. Their models like the Dolphin and Seagull. They're like the Honda Civics of the EV world. Practical, affordable, and built for the masses. Of course, having China in your corner doesn't hurt either. The government there is all in on EVs, providing everything from subsidies to charging stations. It's like having a powerful big brother who's got your back. So here's the million dollar question. Is BYD success just about government support? Or have they actually cracked the code for making EVs accessible to everyone? And here's something to think about. If you were in the market for an EV today, would you go for a premium priced Tesla or would you give BYD a shot? After all, the future of electric vehicles might not be about who makes the fanciest car, but who makes the one that most people can actually afford.